waters get hotter, so does the danger for strong hurricanes. And a new study suggests that the warming oceans may be tilting the scale that we use to measure the strength of hurricanes. Right now, the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale goes from category one to category five, but is it time to add a category six? Category five, the top of the hurricane scale, a status earned by fewer than one in every 50 storms. And with only four known strikes on the U.S. mainland, including Hurricane Andrew in 1992, this rare breed of ultra-powerful hurricane doesn't come often. But new research warns these catastrophic hurricanes are becoming stronger, courtesy of climate-fueled warming, with authors proposing a Category 6 to account for extreme winds not observed in the past. It's actually quite simple by why the um, potential for Category 6 storms has, has increased, and that's that climate change has made both the, the ocean temperatures warmer and, and as well as the air temperature. Dr. Michael Weiner is a senior scientist studying extreme weather and climate at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in California. In a study published earlier this year, he and his colleagues examined the 200 or so Category 5 storms seen globally from 1980 to 2021 to determine if any of them had strong enough winds to warrant a hypothetical Category 6 rating. They found five storms that were so strong they topped the traditional Saffir Simpson's hurricane scale and would meet the study's criteria for Category 6 with each of the five happening in the past decade. Look at this infrared satellite presentation of this storm. It just says power. This recent spate of ultra intense storms is unprecedented and worrying. Wow. And while none of these category sixes occurred in the Atlantic, the study did find a significant oh. increase in the number of days that have the right conditions to support these ultra strong hurricanes in areas close to the US, like the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean. As far as we can tell, it's only a matter of luck that we haven't had a storm on those days when the conditions were ripe for a Category 6 storm. With the 2024 hurricane season gearing up, these nearby areas are of particular concern for top-end threats. Particularly this year, with the ocean temperatures being particularly high again. Whether or not these new findings mean we need a new category is debatable. Many of the nation's hurricane experts, including the director of the National Hurricane Center, pushed back on the idea. Category five, if you look at the definition, is catastrophic damage from a wind perspective. There's not much more you can say beyond that. So trying to go above and beyond that, I'm not sure would have a lot of value in communicating the wind hazard. The over-reliance on scales encourages a comparison of hurricanes that are more often different than alike. The Saffir Simpson scale is a, it's a wind scale, so it can tell you what the you know, sort of damage potential of that peak winds in that hurricane are and that's useful information but it's limited to that one particular hazard nevertheless with the world's oceans hotter today than at any point in the recent past the chart topping hurricanes of today may be the more commonplace threat of the future and for us in south florida a scary close call with hurricane dorian in 2019 which very nearly met the study's category six criteria while just 200 miles off our coast